Okay, so we will start in this tutorial series with HTML and we'll be doing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. And there's a full stop web development, both front end development and back end development. We will understand what we mean by front end development and what we mean by back end development. For a little introduction, front end development is the part of the web page that the user interacts with that produces a user interface. Like, for example, this little website I'm trying to work on, all of these you see working here are the front end development. These are all our front end development. So, what helps to retrieve data from database on servers and the like are the back end development. So, we'll be looking at HTML, we'll talk some few basic things about HTML and we we'll see how we can structure our patients in HTML and how we make use of other attributes. So, so what is HTML? HTML is an acronym. We stand for Harvard Text Makeup Language. HTML is an acronym that stands for <coughs> Harvard Text Makeup Language. So HTML it's a makeup language that helps in creating web pages. And what HTML does is that it describes the source of the web page. So HTML describes the source of the web page and it contains a series of elements. HTML contains elements and what we refer to as elements in HTML can also be referred to as tags. What we call tags in HTML that helps to provide the structure for our page. <coughs> so HTML what it does also is that it helps the browser. It tells the browser how to display the content on the web page. And there are a few HTML elements. We have the headings, we have paragraph, we have links, we have label, uh, we have input for forms and etc. So in this lecture series, we will discuss basically what HTML does for our web page. Like we said, HTML provides structure for the web page. HTML tells the browser how to display the content of the web page. HTML provides what we call interpretation for the web page. It interpret the web page to the browser. And we will also see how we can structure a basic HTML web page and what are the technology needed to run your first web page. All you need is a text editor and any web browser, any text editor and any web browser. So for the case for for the sake of this tutorial, we'll be using Sublime Text Editor <laughs> and we'll be using Chrome Browser to be viewing our web page. But you can use any browser you have Internet Explorer and the like. So, we'll also discuss a little bit of CSS and its use in the web development. How do we use it and why it is used for? So now we will see a basic HTML structure of page. Every HTML page must begin with these following tags. First, you must have the body tag. You must have opening and closing tag to initiate telling. Yeah. Telling the browser that. Uh, so. So this is the the. The content. So, this is the basic structure of our HTML page. This is a page. Every HTML page more contains the following things you are seeing here. Every web page that has a structure of our HTML must contain the, the, the things you are the, the structure of this code. So, let's go to our web browser and see. So, let's remove this. Let's remove this and save. So, let's let's see. So before you get your HTML page done or your website on your local machine, there are two things you have to do. Or there are three things you need. One, you need a text editor. Now you need a, a web browser to interpret the page. And secondly, every content you create should be within a folder. So create a folder on your desktop, a new folder on your desktop. Let me delete this folder. 
let me delete this folder and then we we'll create a new folder so i do create a new folder you can name your folder anything but for me i'm naming my folder d tech web page and so everything relating to the the web page we are going to be building should be within this folder should be within this folder so we'll go to our text editor and then create ctrl s and go to that folder you created for me there is the folder and this page i name it index.html because it's the home page Oh, sorry, is index the HTML. So now, this is the basic structure of a HTML page. Every HTML page should contain the following code. So this is the root. This is the root tag or element of a HTML page. So everything pertaining to a page should be done between here. Every code that the web browser will probably be between here so i reference you so let's see the information about this on w3 school so okay now you see yeah let's see the basics good so you see all html document must start with all html document must start with what this doc type html as the opening tag or element and then html as a well, closing tag forward slash html as a closing tag so like what we did here so now the next thing you have to have is what the head forward slash so the difference between opening tag and closing tag or the opening element and the closing element is the forward slash the closing element should have a forward slash before the name of the element or the tag. Now the next thing we have is the word the body. So this is the basic structure of our HTML page. This is the basic structure of the HTML page. So we we'll save this and we go to view it in our browser. Let's see what happens. We we'll come to this folder. We'll open this in our browser. And what we see, the page appears very, very clean. The page appear well, very very clear because we didn't add any content to be what well displayed. We didn't add any content to be displayed. So now let's see. In the head, we add the word the title. In the title, let's say my first web page and see. If, let's go and view it and see what happens. We we'll view this. You see what happens the title here now is no longer indexed or html but we have included what a title so now what we see is what my first what web page so now let's go and add a heading to our page so in the body so now every other content that we display on this web page every other content that will display on the web page yeah within this within this area should be within the what the body should be within the what the body so let's say h1 i will say first web page so there are six different types of headings the headings are six different types from h1 to h6 and the differences between them is the size so you see when we refresh this page all we see up here is what my first web page my first web page and so this is what html help or does so now let's see let's try the paragraph p p stands for paragraph this is the paragraph element so you take whatever you want to tap here you take whatever you want to tap here whatever you want to tap here and let's save when we save we refresh our page and let's see what happens you see whatever we tap was printed here but can you observe a difference here there are how many lines one two three and four 
But what happens? It's just printed on one, one line. As just a while paragraph. So if you want it to be on a separate lines, you have to use the one the break the break tag or element br. So we'll copy this, we paste it here, we paste it here, and we save. And now let's refresh our page and see what happens. I have given us one four different lines so there are a lot of beautiful things you can do with html and so so let's see once more so now you can also add a wow or image you can also add a wow image so a type for image to say img we use the attribute src meaning the source of the image so first what we do take one image and then put it in the folder, like I said, everything pertaining to the web page should be in this folder. So let's put this image in this folder and let me rename it <laughs> to something easy. So let's say detect. So we name the image detect. So now what we do is to reference our image. So source, the image should be in the folder. So let's say detect. Be exactly the name of the image and what the extension of the image. So let's see our image here is what is a GPG image. So we say dog GPG and we'll close it. So now one of the things I have to get adjusted to is something we call attributes. So attributes are further description for the uh, things you can do with your HTML content. So that for image, the attribute of image will have source, SRC, it means source, meaning the directory where the image is. So since we will have this image in this folder, where we have our web content, so we just put the name of the image and we save. Let's view our web page. Let's go to make sure you save and you refresh. When you refresh, what you see happen? The image appears, right? The image appears with the default size because we didn't set a special width or a special height for the image. So now let's go and put a special width and height for our image to structure the image well. So another attribute will say width. Mm -hmm. Width. And the width, let's say, we we'll make it, uh, let's say 200 pixels. And the height, say 300 pixels. And make sure you save, you go to your web browser and refresh your page. You see, the image was what? Resized. So this is how we do images. So what we just did is that we resize the image to the size we want it to be. We can also do that to our text. And there are other attributes of text. Also, our attribute of text, for example, this heading, we can come to this heading and say, we want to put our heading in the center, opening center, and while closing tag for center, we save and go to our web browser, we refresh our page, or we see our heading goes to the word center. So what basically HTML does is that HTML provides the structure of our page, how our content should be displayed on the web page. Thank you for this lecture series.